Good morning. It is Friday, May 5, 2017, and we're pleased to bring you today's edition of the local news. Welcome. In the news, members of Teachers Union Federation, Falls, not happy with revaluation program. End of World War II commemorated yesterday. Albina Medical Center opened, and Ministry of Home Affairs holds dialogue on gender data. I'm Dakota Simpson Marshall. Your local news begins now. Members of the Teachers Union Federation, Falls, are not happy with the agreement that their president, Marcelina Nerkus, made with the government. The government indicated that the revaluation program that has already been introduced will be fully implemented by the end of June. But not all teachers are in agreement with this. During a general meet members meeting yesterday, the board of the Falls informed the teachers about the implementation of the revaluation program. According to a previous agreement, the introduction of the revaluation program should be completed by the end of May 2017. The vice president announced yesterday at a press conference that the deadline for the implementation has been extended to the end of June. This was presented by NERCUS to the members of Falls, but not everyone responded positively. In protest, some members even left the meeting. The president of Falls said that the teachers are not dissatisfied with the revaluation program. Nurkus said that regarding the salary, teachers have improved by more than 100%. However, one of the main points of concern is, according to Nurkus, the calculation of the taxes. The trade unionist says that he will fix the mistakes in the program with the government. Yesterday, at the Monument of the Fallen by the Waterfront, a ceremony was held commemorating the end of World War II. Every year on the 4th of May, the end of World War II, 1939 to 1945, is commemorated in the Netherlands with a national commemoration of the dead. It was yesterday, 72 years ago, that the Second World War ended. For Suriname, which was a past, which is a past colony of the Netherlands, men and women also left for the war. In this war, millions of people worldwide died, among them Surinamese citizens. The Minister of Defense, Ronnie Benskop, and other invited guests were present at this commemoration. Minister Patrick Pengel of Public Health officially opened the, light, the latest wing of the Albina Medical Center and transferred it to the Foundation Regional Health Service, RGD. A wing of the old hospital building in the border town was already in use as a medical center. However, it needed a lot of renovation for the building to function more effectively. With the delivery of this medical center, the community of the district of Marawena, especially Albina, have the opportunity to make maximum use of the services of the regional health service, says the minister. The final item for local news today is that the General Affairs Department of the Ministry of the Interior organized a meeting where users and producers of gender statistics have been in dialogue with each other. The goal is to pinpoint bottlenecks in collecting gender statistics and identify in the field of economics. The Ministry of the Interior is responsible for the gender policy. The meetings are part of the research, CARICOM equality, and gender indicators in the Republic of Suriname. This research is being conducted in cooperation with the UN Women and the General Bureau of Statistics. At the presentation on Friday, 28th of April, Renuka Bihari of the Institute for Women and Gender Research made it clear that gender-specific data is largely missing. 
Discussion, discussions should lead to improved data availability. The intention is to complete the research stated started in 2015 by mid-year 2017. The report will provide insight into the status of men and women in Suriname. That brings us to the end of local news for today. On behalf of the entire STVS local news production team, I'm Dakota Simpson, wishing you a productive weekend. Remember, join us again on Monday for more local news.